The Holy Father's resignation surprised me as well as most others I know. Although we are saddened by this news, we are grateful for his eight years of dedicated service. We thank God for the gift he has been to our church. His resignation shows us once again his deep love for God's people. Pope Benedict traveled around the world sharing his love of Christ with all those he encountered. He especially spoke for the world's poor and worked to unite all Catholics, in many cases drawing them back to the church. I ask everyone throughout the Diocese of Green Bay to join me in prayers for Pope Benedict and for the Cardinal Electors who will select his successor. Well, Pope Benedict's lasting legacy is his teaching. <clears throat> He's an incredible teacher. He's done a lot of writings in these last eight years. And probably uh, the thing that will last the longest is his efforts toward the new evangelization. Uh, know that the Holy Spirit's gonna guide uh, the Cardinal Electors. And I'm sure that they're going to try to continue many of the efforts and the initiatives that Pope Benedict uh, the 16th has, has launched in the last few years. So, uh, the so fact that uh, he's resigning for physical, for physical reasons, basically, uh, saying that this, uh, this job takes a huge amount of vigor and strength and stamina. And so I'm sure that the Cardinals will take that into consideration as well as they're uh, planning and, uh, on a successor. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bittersweet. It's a little bit like a death. Uh, usually the Pope dies in office. Uh, uh, the last time this happened was 600 years ago, and even I wasn't around then. But uh, it, it's, uh, it's a time of mourning, um, the loss of someone. Uh, gratefully, we don't have to have a funeral for Pope Benedict. He'll still be uh, around after uh, the new Pope is elected. But uh, it's a time of mourning, but also a time of anticipation and to see what the new uh, pastor of the church will be like, uh, to see how he will assume this role of, of vicar of Christ and successor to St. Peter.